How's it going everyone? So it's officially 2021. 2020 is over and COVID is no longer a thing. So we can all leave our caves and go back and join the world and restart our lives over uh, to the way they were before. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It's 2021 and COVID is very much still a thing. But yesterday was January 15th. And so for a lot of you, that means that it was the deadline to get your UBC applications in. So now that that's over, you guys can all take a deep breath and relax and give yourselves a pat on the back. Congrats, you did it. The hard part is over. Now that you guys have all applied, I'm sure you're really eager to find out whether or not you're gonna get accepted or maybe you've been accepted and you're trying to plan for your first year at UBC. And that's gonna lead me into the topic of this video. So this video is gonna be part one of a three-part series that I'm doing, but the biggest mistakes I made during my first year at UBC. So part one or this video is gonna be about the biggest academic mistakes I made. Part two is gonna be about the biggest mistakes I made in regards to social life at UBC. And then part three is gonna be the biggest mistakes I made in terms of my physical and mental health during my first year at UBC. So before I get into this video, I want to give you guys a little bit of knowledge about my background. So my name is Brendan, I'm 22 years old. I'm a third year transfer student at the UBC SAR School of Business, and I'm currently doing a co-op at a FinTech company called Vispan. All right, so let's get into the topic of today's video. The biggest academic mistakes I made during my first year at UBC. So to start off, I wanna talk about how I was studying incorrectly for exams. And I think this is really relevant to anybody who's coming directly from high school or somebody who's transferring from college. So at the college I was at previously, the method of studying I had kind of developed was I figured that if I could just study everything and remember it, most of my exams were based off of memorization and less of actually applying the topics and the knowledge. And so I was able to get really strong get grades by just, you know, over and over and over repetition and just memorizing stuff. And I quickly learned that at UBC, that's not the case. A lot of my exams in solder, you're taught everything and you learn it all and you learn how to do questions, but then on the exam, you know, the questions are different or something's different or they kind of get you to really apply the material that you're learning. And so just simply sitting there and doing questions over and over again until you know how to do them like the back of your hand, isn't gonna help you because on that exam, things are gonna be different than what you've prepared for. So you really need to look at the, look at the topics, understand them and understand how, how to apply them in different situations than you would have in any of the practice questions that you had beforehand. The next academic mistake I made at UBC is gonna be the fact that I focused way too much on my academics. Now, this is really case dependent depending on who you are. As somebody who wanted to go into finance, my grades were really important because finance has the highest average requirement in solder. And I also wanted to be part of the Go Global program and I wanted to get into co-op. And I was able to do all of those things, but I had to sacrifice a lot of my social life or my mental and physical health in order to do that. And I honestly don't really recommend it. I understand that grades are important, everyone wants to do the best that they can, but you really need to evaluate how important it is to get those grades. And I'll be honest with you, once you're in your program and you know, you're doing what you want to do, I think it's way more important to start to branch out and join clubs and, and get more experiences than to, to sit in your dorm room and study just to get 99 on that exam. Honestly, I don't think people really care that you get 99 on an exam or high 90s in an exam. Um, it's just not important once you're already in solder. But of course, like I said, it is case dependent. So if you are trying to get into special programs or into the option that you really wanna get into, then yes, you are gonna need a competitive average. So take what I say with a grain of salt, but just know that going back, I wish I spent more time engaging in different kinds of clubs or joining sports teams or, you know, making more time for friends. And the third and final academic mistake I made during uh, my first year at UBC would have been my study habits and my notes. So I was somebody who, you know, I took, you know, chicken scratch notes during the, the lectures, just kind of noted a couple of things down. I'd look through all the lecture slides and, you know, I'd become familiar with everything through the lecture, lecture slides and everything like that, but I wasn't taking consistent notes. And what I mean by that is, you know, after a week has gone by, going back, going through those two classes and taking your notes for those lectures, 
that are, you know, complete notes. And I think that that was a big mistake because when you are in a class that has, you know, 10 different lecture topics and you have a final exam on all 10 of those lecture topics and each, each lecture is, you know, 30 to 90 slides, you know, that is a lot of slides to memorize. But if you can condense one of those lectures into, you know, three or four pages, then that's gonna really help you when you're studying for your final exams. Now you'd think, hey, this is a guy who was able to get into solder, you'd think he'd be able to take his notes properly, but apparently I couldn't. And so I would really recommend stopping and taking your full notes for those lectures, you know, as you go on. All right, guys, so those were the three biggest mistakes I made during my first year at UBC. And just to give you a bit of a recap, those mistakes were not adjusting to the different uh, way that UBC tests you, um, focusing way too much on my academics and not taking advantage of all of the different opportunities that UBC has to offer. And the third mistake was not preparing throughout the semester and then having to rush during the end of the semester to get all of my notes so that I could kind of condense everything down instead of looking at 900 slides for your final exam. All right guys, so this has been part one of the biggest mistakes that I made during my first year at UBC. Make sure you guys tune in for part two of this series where I talk about the biggest mistakes I made in terms of my social life at UBC. All right guys, I gotta go take my notes from my class before I fall behind. So I'll talk to you guys later.